Hello YouTube, this is video number three of my app review and today I will be reviewing apps and games together. So let's get started. The first app for today is called Zixby and this is a free version. I just actually found it uh, yesterday on the market I believe but I'm already a big, big fan of it. So uh, let's just go to the tutorial for now just to show you. And these are all the lessons so you can go through at your own pace and learn how to fly and shoot uh, and learn about the different uh, weapons. Right now let's just go to final exam to speed things along and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> So, what you do is you're this little green guy, an alien in a saucer, and you need to move him around just by tilting your phone, and what you need to do is shoot using your finger to swipe on the phone, uh, swipe in the direction that you want to shoot, and the point is to get rid of all of those um, enemies before they destroy your tower or before they destroy you and it looks like they destroyed my tower so let's try that again so and the graphics are actually pretty good on this uh, the alien is pretty awesome looking the, the my camera definitely do not do the graphics justice but they are but they are pretty good And then if you want to recharge your shield, you just go back into the orb, but you don't want to let these things destroy this little orb. The, this uh, game has a story along with it, and whoops, the point is to pretty much there's these uh, aliens on another planet that are trying to, to destroy your life source, which are these towers, and they've already destroyed all of them, except for three, and you're goal is to save the last three remaining towers um, this orb tower thing and you want to save them before they are all destroyed and I completed the training so uh, your mission is to go around and to pretty much save all the towers and to kill all these guys and that are trying to destroy them and then you progress farther along and you go to different worlds and you start attacking them later on. So yeah, that's a pretty fun one. Next is Prism 3D Free. And this is a Hyper Bees game. So for those of you that are familiar, they also made Speedex 3D and shaky tower so they are you know pretty pretty well known and they make pretty good games so this is another one that definitely do does their company justice so let's go to new game so uh, what you got to do is you got to bounce this ball along here and get the points and you want to make it to the end. And I lost the ball. And you get, I believe you get three balls. You know, some squares have different options or power-ups or, you know, the numbers on them. Like, that uh, adds to your score. Or some of them, as you hit them, they disappear. And there you go. I beat that level. It's pick a stick. So... You know, they have different skins, which are really cool. And, you know, you can choose from all of these. And you get points, every t like that said, every time you finish a game. So you can buy different skins if you want. There's a lot. And it gives you a few free ones. So start with spring. Start. Okay, so what you want to do is 
just like the original game, you want to just pick the sticks up. You want to pick up the sticks on the top because obviously if you try and pick one up underneath, it's going to vibrate like that. And it does time you once you f once you first start and as you can go, uh, there isn't really any increasing difficulty or anything, but the sticks are always going to be different as you go along. Um, it's not going to be the exact same pattern of sticks that you have to pick up. It just depends on how they land with every throw. And that's, that's it. And like I showed you, you can change the skins, see a new record. Uh, it integrates with score loop so that you can try and compete against other people that are on the leaderboards. No thanks. Yeah, that's that. There's not much to it, but it's definitely fun, like a childhood game. So the next one is an app called GetJar, and I'm sure many of you have heard of this, but I just feel like it's worth reviewing anyway because it's pretty cool. It's like the Amazon App Store with free apps except that it has a lot more free apps at once and this are the top page you know the top apps that are downloaded but what I like to do is go to apps the star there and then the gold section here are the free apps that used to be paid. So as you can see, Quell is a top app. It used to be 160 and Asus Solitaire, uh, Asus 3D Brick Breaker. That's actually a really fun game. And Illusia, Paper Camera, which is a pretty popular app. You can go to more. You know, see there's Age of Zombies, which I had already gotten that free off of the Amazon App Store a while ago. So I didn't need that. Same with Yumsters, but see there's Crazy Racers. I've played that game. That's a pretty fun game. Backbreaker Football, for those of you who like that, that's supposed to be a really good, really 3D intense uh, football game. And TuneIn Radio is a pretty good radio app. There's just a whole bunch of free ones. and every with every new day more and more are added some of these apps like paper glider and nano panda uh were also both amazon apps free amazon apps of the day but um it, it, you know in case you missed it you can go back and get them here for for a free for a limited time so you know you better uh, you better hurry because every time they add a new one they take an older one off so yeah and then you can pretty much just search apps up here too you can get friends you you can have your apps that you've downloaded okay next one is a uh, dream journal this is a pro version because i paid for it because i really like the app but there is a free version um but i don't think it's you know i don't know if it's really worth it uh, you only can record five dreams at a time, and with Pro, it's unlimited. So, um, I just actually had to, I rooted my phone, so I actually restarted it, so I don't have any um, dreams, any more dreams saved. But you can add a dream here, and you'll, you know, you can pretty much add things as you want. And there's a lot you can put here for your dream to customize it you can put the title and none of it is necessary so you can add whatever you want the date that you had your dream what type of dream it is so you can have you know a nightmare or a lucid dream or wish fulfillment um, all these different kinds and you can go you can just type in about what your dream was and then you can put any notes about it that you you know want to take note of um, and then objective context and it tells you what that is so any significance of events that occurred age of dream ego I'm not sure what exactly that is you might need to check that out but setting how you are feeling uh, how does this dream compensate something in your life and 
any associations to anything important in your life and then what you feel is the interpretation of it and then you can save it and you can go back to your main list and you can view the dreams from right there and they'll come up in a list so if you if you like to record your apps or sorry if you <laughs> if you like to record your dreams and to be able to remember them for later then it's definitely a good app cam scanner this is also a really popular one i'm sure most of you have heard of it but again i feel like i have to mention it because i just love this app this is definitely a good app that takes the place of a printer um because I had a printer and scanner in one and obviously this cannot take the place of a printer but it takes the place of a scanner uh, very very well so it has a quick start guide it comes with a quick start guide when you download it there is a free version and a paid version but the paid the free version comes with a, you can scan 50 documents um, and then it'll cut you off so and I think that's pretty much the only restriction. Maybe it'll it'll remove. It has these ads also, but you know the ads don't bother me. And 50 scans is way more than what I need. Um, but the paid version, I think, is only 99 cents or dollar 99, and you get unlimited and ad removal. So let's let's just try this. We got these different buttons here this one is to take a picture this one is to get a picture out of your gallery this one is to uh search yeah is to search for your doc one of your documents if you have a lot and then this button is to edit i believe oh it gives you different options to erase a document to send to share and this one just changes the view, the list. So you can view it like that. So right now let's just scan a document. Okay. Then I will press okay so you get this option and to crop it okay and then it will edit it as you can see it just cut it down to the size that I told it to and it clears it so it turns white from you know so it turns more into like a document sorry that it's hard to see There we go. And, and then you can do different options with it. You can rotate it. Um, or you can go back and re-edit it. And then it will show up right here in this list. Um, and then once you click on it, it sh it's hard to see again. Sorry, but it shows up. And then you can mail it or save it or upload it and do all the stuff with it. So it's definitely a really cool app. And, and the, as you can see, the quality of the scan is pretty good. So you really do not even need a computer with a scanner on it anymore because the quality of the scans with your phone is so good um, that unless you need to actually print the scan then you know you it's you don't really need it but you could always just email it to yourself and then print it out from your computer okay next app this is bubble blast 2 this is a game um it's kind of an old game i'm sure all of you guys are used to it you all you guys have heard of it but this is a game that i am always playing um, so I just feel like I have to mention it because it's definitely one of my favorite apps, favorite, sorry, favorite games to play. So 
These are the puzzle packs, and as you can see, I'm on the level pack 6, but there is a lot of them, so this game takes for very, very long to complete. There's 70, and there's 100 levels in each pack. Let's just go to level pack 3, 2, because the 1s and the 1 are kind of easy. Let's go, let's just go to 77. Level pack 2, 77. So what you want to do is you want to clear all of these bubbles from the screen and it tells you up here how many moves you got. You got five touches left. So you need to clear this whole board in five touches. And the, those bubbles are different colors because that depends on how many touches you need to make. So the red ones you only require one touch to disappear. The green require two, the yellow three, the blue four. And as you can see, if you touch them, they disappear. And you need to come up with the best solution to get them all gone in however many moves it tells you at the top. Some of them will have up to six moves or seven moves, and the fewest amount of moves is one. So as you can see, I have one move left. But I'm not going to make it, I don't think. Nope. Because of that little guy right there. So I need to retry it. Let's do that. Nope. And once you clear it, it will just say, thank you, or Con congratulations, and it'll move you on to the next level. Nope. Okay, well. Anyway, you can get, and you can get a hint if you can't figure it out, but you only get one hint in 24 hours. Uh, yeah, that's a fun one. And last but not least, I'm going to do this one quickly because you, I'm sure most of you have heard of this one by now. It's this that I mentioned earlier, the Amazon App Store. And, you know, I like this app because you can get so many free apps um, from it every day. They have a new one and some of them are actually pretty decent. Like the one for today is Spin Balls and it's actually a pretty fun and unique game. If you want to also search the store without wanting the free app, you can just search through here. These are all the new ones that are available uh, that have like just came on the, come on the market not too long ago, and then the games and entertainment, and it it goes on from there. Or you can press the menu button, and you can go to you have all of these options. And my apps, you can go to my apps and see all the ones that you have and see if there's any updates. Yes, that's it. That is my app review for the day. And please comment, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you, especially if you have any questions or suggestions, um, let me know how you like my reviews. If you want me to do like I did this one, games and apps mixed, or if you like me to do uh, one app review, one game review, and, or would you rather have me just do these mixed ones twice a week, um, or what I'm still trying to decide. I don't really have any set schedule yet at a, as to what days of the week I'm actually going to do them, or how I'm going to do them yet, or how many times. Um, I still want to get some more user feedback and more comments on these to see how big they become before I set a, set a date or a schedule. So please let me know how I'm doing and until next time.